Welcome back. The season of giving is upon us. As you start to think about how you'd like to help make a difference, consider Colorado Gives Day. Denver 7 and Community First Foundation have teamed up together to make sure this one day fundraising event is a huge success. Here with more is Community First Foundation's Kelly Duncan and co-executive director of the Denver Indian Center, Rick Water. So glad to have you guys here. All Thank right, you. and Kelly, welcome back. Thank you. Yes, all right, here. let's start with more about Colorado Gives Day. Yeah, we are really excited. Um, once again, Community First Foundation is partnering with First Brink um, to bring you this 10th anniversary of Colorado Gives Day, one day giving event where Coloradans join together to give to over 2,600 nonprofits that are on the coloradogives.org site. 2,600, that's 2600. a lot. 2,600. All right, so there's probably something there for everyone, which I can imagine. So how can Coloradans give? Yeah, really easy. If you can shop online, you can give online. You simply go to the site, Colorado coloradogives.org, search for your favorite nonprofit by name, cause, or location, click on the donate button, fill out the form, it adds it to your cart, and then you can check out using the shopping cart feature, which means you can give to multiple nonprofits at multiple amounts and check out with one easy transaction. We all know how to shop online. Yes. I think we, I can vouch for most people that we know how to tick that little box and make that happen. Yes. I think a more serious question though is how can we be sure that the, the charities or the nonprofits that we're, we're picking are actually getting the help that we want them to get? Absolutely. So um, we vet all the nonprofits so you rest assured as a donor that the nonprofits have their designation from the IRS. They're in good standing with the Secretary of State and all the money goes directly to the nonprofits um, through the coloradogives.org site. That's good to know. That yeah. reassurance is everything. All right, Colorado Gives Day is December 10th. That's another easy date to remember. And as you, she just got done telling you, all you have to do is go to coloradogives.org Click those buttons, go ahead, fill up that yep. card. Fill it up as high as you want, actually. We'll let you do that. All right, and then there's the incentive grant, which has grown by 50%. Yeah. That's important, too. Yeah, so um, once again, Community First Foundation and First Bank contributed the first million to the incentive fund, and then through partners, we've grown it to $1.5 million, which means that um, every donation is given a proportional boost. So take the um, Denver Indian Center. If they raise 10% of the total on Colorado Gives Day, they'll get 10% of the incentive fund. So the more you give to your favorite nonprofits, the more they'll get. We like that. All right, Rick, we're coming to you then. Let's talk about really the mission behind the Denver Indian Center. Well, you have to have a little history, a knowledge of the history of uh, Indian country. And I will start out by saying November, thank you for inviting us here, is Native, National Native American uh, Heritage Perfect. Month. So uh, the mission of the Indian Center is to serve and support the American Indian community. And it was born out of the need of uh, many American Indians moving to the cities back in the 50s and 60s mm -hmm. based on uh, government policy, basically. And when they got here, they faced culture shock mm -hmm. and just navigating uh, even basic uh, nece necessary uh, services they needed to survive in the city were needed. So uh, American Indian groups came together in the early 70s and formed the Denver Native Americans United group. And from that group, uh, the Denver Indian Center was born, and we incorporated in 1983 with the purpose of uh, providing self-determination, self-reliance, and those areas of, of uh, lifestyle that would help them and the American Indians, Native Americans, uh, live yeah. in, a, in an urban area. In, the, in an urban community, yes. right? Mm -hmm. So what kind of things then you, do you do to really help them in the community? Then? Well, in most places you have to have resources to pay for your grocery bill, gas, mm -hmm. housing, and all of that. Mm -hmm. So we uh, have a workforce program that provides training, uh, career opportunities, and uh, it's federally funded. And on the other side, uh, we have a program that works with men, our fatherhood program. And it's not changing diapers or that type. It's, it's more about making choices. Right. And how to become a better person in the society we live in uh, that will make you a better dad, a better partner, a better coworker, a better neighbor, and so forth. So in addition to those programs, we, we offer the food bank mm -hmm. uh, to help, as well as youth and elder programming. You want to tell everyone where you're located? We are in uh, southwest Denver 
in the Westwood neighborhood on Morrison Road, 4407 Morrison Road. Okay. That's that one street that's kind of different in the city. <laughs> uh, I see it when I fly out at, out at night. I can see the lights and I can tell which street it is. Uh, we've been there since 1985 when the Mayor Pena administration yeah. uh, donated. Well, he, for $1, yeah. he sold us the land and the building. Okay. Well, guys, thanks so much for being here. This is so important to talk about. If you'd like to support Denver Indian Center, other nonprofits, mark your calendar to donate on December 10th. Now, here's the website, coloradogives.org, Community First Foundation, sponsored today's segment.